The Chinese space program has basked in a fair share of glory after the completion of their Tiangong space station in low Earth orbit, making a total count of completed working space stations to two. While the International Space Station is a collaboration of space programs from different nations, China managed to complete their own version of a space station themselves, without any foreign help. The Tiangong Space Station might be smaller in comparison to its neighbor the International Space Station, but it's fitted with modern, fresh and clean equipment that will definitely help in the long run. A new era of the race to space is unofficially kicked off which will focus primarily on the battle between space stations. The Chinese Space Agency has already revealed a number of collaborations and plans of international cooperation in their Tiangong Space Station, which will be a new dawn for space exploration. In today's episode, we are going to compare the Tiangong Space Station and the International Space Station in detail. China tried its best to earn its way into the International Space Station after their notorious ban following the Wolf Amendment passed by the U.S. Congress. While they might have failed in doing so, it actually proved rather fruitful for them in the long run. After all, creating a new space station from scratch, sending it into low Earth orbit, and preparing fresh experiments with modern technology is something to be proud of. The International Space Station, on the other hand, is the veteran with history and experience and most importantly, the backing of the global science community including the major players that currently influence the space sector. It is also worth noting that the International Space Station was dealt a mighty blow recently after Russia announced their plans of pulling out of the space station in the near future amidst the Russian-Ukraine crisis. To put into perspective, the International Space Station has two overall sections, with one belonging to the US side and the other portion to the Russian side. It's not much of an ownership, but Russia has remained one of the biggest contributors to the space station for a while now. Moreover, news have been revolving about the ISS going into retirement within the next few years and NASA itself has officially confirmed the news. ISS is expected to retire within 2030 more or less, which puts the Tiangong Space Station into more of a highlight. International collaboration has already been continuously prioritized by China, and while the US won't be partaking in the Chinese space station, the rest of spacefaring nations don't have their hands tied. In fact, most have already revealed their plans of collaborating with China in and outside of their space station. Building of the International Space Station took a decade and a total of 30 separate missions to complete the massive structure. A total of 16 modules that complete the space station were constructed on Earth and then launched into orbit. Further missions were then conducted where these were connected to each other and formed the structure you now see during a 10-year-long construction. The initial components were launched in 1998. The station has been inhabited by astronauts continuously since 2010. The station orbits an average of 250 miles above the surface, circling the planet every 90 minutes. The Tiangong Space Station is made up of three main components, the main Tian service module and two laboratories, as well as a variety of docking stations and solar arrays. The station could eventually be expanded to six modules, including a second Tian core module, but that remains in plans for the future. A mass of 66 metric tons and a habitable area of 3,884 cubic feet, enough for a total of six astronauts. In current missions, the Chinese Space Agency sends a team of three Taikonauts on the space station, but the collective crew of Shenzhou-14 and Shenzhou-15 have determined the space station capacity of holding a total of six Taikonauts on board. In size, Tiangong is comparable to the Russian Mir station or NASA's old Skylab. The station will orbit the Earth at around the same altitude as the ISS, in the range of 211 to 280 miles high. All in all, Tiangong is much smaller than the International Space Station. While the International Space Station was built in about 30 missions, the Chinese Space Agency completed their space station in about a dozen missions, but that's a weaker comparison since the ISS is much bigger compared to Tiangong. It is also worth noting that Tiangong is not China's first space station. Shangong-1 was China's first prototype space station that orbited Earth from 2011 to 2018, followed up by Tiangong-2 from 2016 to 2019. These projects served to demonstrate China's ability to perform autonomous orbital rendezvous and docking, but also manned spaceflight. On June 16, 2012, China's first female astronaut, Liu Yang, docked with Tiangong-1 along with two other astronauts. China's longest crewed space mission lasted 30 days during a mission to Tiangong-2 in 2016. Safe to say, the Chinese space agency took their sweet time and nailed the process in doing so. 
Chang'an consists of three main modules. The first, known as Chan'ha, or Harmony of the Heavens, launched on April 29, 2021 aboard a Long March 5B rocket and is the central node for the main space station. The bus-sized Tianha is responsible for providing all the essential functions for the space station, including life support, navigation, and even propulsion. This is also where the Taikonauts spend most of their time since this is where their living quarters are located. The second module launched on 24 July 2022. Wenchen, or Heavenly Quest, is a lab module meant for scientific experiments. This is also the module through which Taikonauts exit the station to conduct spacewalks. Outside the hull, there are various smaller modules and stations where external experiments can be set up. Mengshin, or Heavenly Dream, is the third and final module of Tangong. It also launched this year, in October, from the Wencheng Spaceport in South China. Mengshin will host a number of science cabinets for conducting a wide range of experiments. It also features a payload airlock, allowing the station's small robotic arm to take science payloads and install them on a platform on the module's exterior. In total, the space station will include 14 internal racks for experiments and about 50 external ports for studies in space. To compare it with the ISS, the ISS consists of 16 pressurized modules. These include 8 US modules, Beam, Lernetto, Harmony, Quest, Tranquility, Unity, Cupola, and Destiny. Also included are 6 Russian modules named Zarya, Zvezda, Poisk, Rasvet, Naka, and Pritchell. One Japanese module named Kibo and one European module called Columbus is also present. At least one Soyuz spacecraft is always docked as a lifeboat and is replaced every six months by a new Soyuz as part of crew rotation. To be fair, it's a really odd comparison between both the Tiangong and ISS. There are several facts to be considered. First off, ISS is a veteran space station. It has exceeded its life cycle continuously and still operates flawlessly. Yes, it's about to be deorbited in the next few years, but the space station has done its purpose and so much more that you can't expect anything more out of it. The Tiangong space station on the other hand is a modern, fresh addition to the orbit and the pictures show how clean and beautiful it looks from the inside. But the point still remains, ISS is outdated while Tiangong is new. Tiangon represents a major stepping stone for China's journey towards becoming a space power that rivals or even surpasses the United States. China's National Space Administration wants to leverage its space station for a suite of complementary space missions. For instance, Tiangon is supposed to provide refueling power for China's upcoming space telescope Sunshin, which will have a 300 times wider view than Hubble and is slated to launch next year. With the ISS finally retiring, eyes have already set upon the Tiangong for international collaboration plans. Pretty soon, the Chinese space station will start welcoming international astronauts on board and collaborate with their plans and experimentation. With a lot of comparison between the Tiangong space station and the international space station cover, it's time to wrap this one up. If you have any topics in mind, comment below and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space and we'll see you in the next one.